my name is Emily and here on my channel I talk about all things roller skating. Whether you just started skating or you've been skating your whole entire life, I believe that there is always something new that we can learn from other people and their experiences. So if you haven't yet, go ahead and hit the subscribe button that's located right underneath this video so that you can be updated on my weekly skate content. All right, now on to the video. Today I'm going to be showing you how I learned to do a basic forward jump on the half pipe. Before you can do this move, you need to be pretty proficient at pumping on the half pipe first. If you want a refresher on that, I'll link my pumping tutorial up here and I'll put it down in the comments and description as well. My experience of learning this move was made much easier by rolling just a little bit higher on the ramp, maybe a little bit higher than I was at first comfortable with. And the reason why I want to roll at a certain height to start out and to make it more smooth is because you don't want to be rolling in that curve of the ramp, right? Because if you jump and land there, your wheels are going to get a little bit jumbled and you're more likely to wipe out. But if you land on the vertical flat part, it's going to be smoother. Now this video is for beginners and for everybody here, there's no reason why you need to be flying super high over the coping. I, that's not really the goal of this video, okay? I just want you to get a little bit of height because you're gonna need momentum if you want to jump, which is the whole point of this video. The more momentum you use going into the jump, the easier it will be to get some air under your feet. Maybe try for a few feet above the natural curve of the ramp. On this half pipe, I'm gonna go about halfway up or a little bit more up the vertical part of the ramp, any lower, and I risk landing on that curb, like I said before. And whenever I land on that part, it's always ends up landing weirdly and I fall. So go ahead and start pumping above the curb, get enough height, and when you're ready, you can start to put your arms into it. You want to swing your arms from back to front to give you that momentum. What I do is that as I'm rolling backwards on the ramp, I slowly pull my arms back. And then as I roll forward, my arms are back and, <laughs> and, uh, and I'm rolling forward and I don't swing my arms up until the very last second that I am rolling forward and about to go back down, backwards. Using your arms intentionally can really help you with momentum. When you're in the jump, you can throw your arms up above your head, out to the side, or bring them close into your body. I don't really think about my arms with intention as much as I should. When I was first learning to jump, I tended to put my arms out, but now I notice rolling back the footage, I seem to bring my arms in, sort of like, like in this boxing position. And now that I notice that, I wonder if that has to do with my martial arts background of why I automatically go like this and protect my face. That's, huh, that's interesting. Let me know how you put your arms when you are jumping. I'm really curious. So I like to bring my arms and my hands close to my body, sort of like in a boxing stance, except I'm not squeezing my, my hands like a fist. They are very relaxed, like this. I don't think there is really one best arm position for jumps in general. I think it really depends on the type of jump that you're doing. Something important to note, when you are doing the basic forward rolling jump on the half pipe, you want your feet to leave and land on the same spot. Okay, so I'm going <laughs> to I'm going to awkwardly use my hand as quarter as a as a quarter pipe. So you're rolling up and you're getting ready to jump. What you don't want to do is jump and land up here. Uh-uh. You also don't want to do this. You don't want to jump and land down here because that would really hurt and you'd probably wipe out. What you want to do is jump and land at the same spot that your feet left the ramp. Very important. There are other things you can do, like jumping to the side, but that's that's a whole other specific trick. I'm talking about just the basic forward jump. I think the reason sometimes skaters do this type of thing, where they'll jump 
and land higher is because they're trying so hard to get that air under their feet at least that's what I was trying to do I would I wouldn't roll I I was having trouble getting momentum on the ramp and so what I would do is instead of pumping harder I would pump like weak sauce pumping and then I would overwork my upper body to try to jump super high don't do that don't do more work than you have to it's much better to really be a boss at pumping so that you can just naturally let the laws of physics do their thing one misconception that I had as a beginner ramp skater is that in order to jump higher I have to use more force in my upper body and no again it's all about the momentum and the pumping the better you are at pumping the better you'll be at speed the higher you'll be able to jump and another thing just because you are jumping high doesn't mean your feet are going to be further from the ramp the distance that your feet are from the ramp just depends on if you are physically pulling in your knees or doing a straddle so keep that in mind you don't have to jump super high. If you want to show the illusion that you are jumping really high, all you have to do is bring your knees in. Easier said than done, but just remember that. Something I'm learning as of lately is that so much of skating and tricks are an illusion. Yeah, a lot of the times it's really hard to do these tricks, but sometimes it just takes minimal practice and as long as you have the strength, you'll be able to get it fairly quickly. And one of those things is this jump and being able to tuck your knees. You can create the illusion that you're jumping super high on a ramp when really you're not jumping high at all, you're just bringing in your knees. Another thing that's important to focus on is your <sighs> breathing. And actually that was a bad example of a deep breath because I put my shoulders up. Don't do that. But the point is, when I'm on the ramp, I have a very specific way that I breathe. It might seem dramatic and like kind of silly to have to concentrate so hard on your breathing, but it really, really helped me. So I promise that it's going to help somebody out there. I noticed that I would hyperventilate. I would either be breathing too fast and be all over the place and then get super tired and out of breath quickly. Or on the other hand, I would be focusing and concentrating really hard and end up holding my breath. I have a tendency to hold my breath when I'm concentrating. I firmly believe that the ability to stay calm and relaxed is the key to successfully skating on ramps. Yes, a lot of these moves are aggressive, very aggressive. That's why another word for it is aggressive roller skating. However, the best skaters know how to control that energy because they breathe through it. I really had to go inside myself and think, okay, so this is the point where I'm going to breathe in and then this is the point where I'm going to breathe out, just depending on what type of trick I'm doing and, you know. But I'm about to tell you how I breathe, so here we go. Basically, for the majority of the time that I spend on the half pipe, I'm slowly breathing out and then whenever I breathe in those are more quick breaths the only point where I take a quick deep breath in is when I am at my highest point when my body is at that highest point whether it's at the coping or wherever you're getting up to on your pumping whenever you're about to jump that is when I breathe in and I breathe out as my body falls and gravity does its thing and I roll on back as I'm rolling back, I'm breathing out. And then as I'm skating backwards, I breathe in as I approach my highest point and then breathe out, moving forward and so on and so forth. The motion of a half pipe goes like this. So by me taking a big deep breath in at my highest point, it really helps me to think up and inevitably my body will raise a little bit higher. Maybe it's in my head, but I like to think that my deep breath in makes my 
it boosts my height a little bit and I can get a little bit more air. This way of breathing is the way that feels most natural to me when I am on the half pipe and it really helps me when I'm breathing in this way to stay grounded even when I am in the air. Remember, I do have a pumping tutorial that can help you review the basics of how to get that really good momentum going. If you wanna reach the coping and do these big jumping super tricks, then you need speed. And it's gonna really help you to be a pro at pumping. So check out that video. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.